What's up, everybody? Russ with rwgresearch.com. Um, check it out. I'm in uh, John Hutchinson's current electronics lab, and um, John gave me the permission to look at some of his documents. So there are a lot of stories um, of John having paperwork on stuff, right? Well, today I'm going to look at some of the paperwork and kind of verify that for you. Um, some of it might be classified and other things, so uh, I, f I really don't know. He said there is classified information in there, but three totes full of stuff. So I'm just going to look at some of this and uh, just see what we have here. I looked through some of it earlier, but there is just so much stuff. It would take quite a long time to really go through this stuff, but yeah. we'll look at we'll look at some of it. Found lots of Los Alamos lab stuff in here too. Find some of that. NASA. PC News. There's so much stuff here, it would take quite a long time to go through all of it. But they did digitalize this stuff, so Let's see if we can share some of that too. There's one from Los Alamos. Advanced Research Projects Agency. Airmail. December 12, 1995. John was walking through me some of this, telling me about what's what. Pretty interesting stuff. Los Alamos. Here's an interesting one. It tells us about this story, but there's the actual story. Los Alamos. 1985 Pictures, we went through some of these Los Alamos Let's get down in here picture in here. Check this uh, old model of Hendershot converter. I looked through some of this earlier. But the X factor. There he is. Can electromagnetism plane portages?
uh, Hutchinson effect. Hmm. Chinese magazine, some of this stuff's in here. There's some of it. Files, 1981 to 1995. George Hathaway. There's the uh, book. I think you can buy this one, so I'm not going to look too much at that one. Metal samples. Another Los Alamos. Not in that one. Probably already out here somewhere. Stanford University. The diagrams from John's stuff. Actually, this is look at this one. Pause this video and read it later, huh? Magnetron nuclear unit emission ball, 700 gauss. like a hand typed letter. Department of the Army.
Ready to eat? We got some uh, Andy's homemade beer if you'd like some. Oh, I will taste it. I usually don't drink much because it makes me very sick. Well, you don't have to. But I'll taste it. Okay, I'll like, bring it out. Yeah, just a sip. I, if I, if, I've drank a beer in the past and it's taken me almost three months to recover from one beer. Well, it, it's like a chemical imbalance. Well, then don't but, I wanna, but I just want to taste it. More. That's fine. I just won't drink it. <laughs> I like to taste it because my dad tastes... He, he's into like homemade wines and alcohols and stuff, so I've tasted a little of what he gets sometimes. It's like, no. no. But I want to taste it. <laughs> Alright. Like a, like a shotgun. A shot glass. Barely touched the top side of this box. Where's the original? A copy of the original. Yeah. Wow. Haha, <laughs> here's a complaint. <laughs> March 2000. The complaint was dealt with a severe matter for the conversation letter you received. It's definitely no joke here, guys. This is serious matter. of the army. Uh, so I could open that. Got it. There you go, these are gonna be the good ones. Oh uh, this might be a love note. I don't want to read this one to you. Let's go. Water pressure test, 99 crystal converter. There's a chart on the crystal converter. Opportunity to participate in the Hutchinson effect. Oh, I don't know where to start, man.
stuff like this. Oh no. Electron scanning microscope picture of some of the metal samples. Look at that, man. Can't do that with normal stuff very easy. This is fun. <laughs> Go for it. I did. Yeah. I found a few things I'm going to take pictures of. This guy is, uh, this guy, I'm not going to read it out loud or show it on film, but what is that from? It says confidential, and I looked down, it says the very last words are, you must destroy. <laughs> it does. Look at the last page. It says you have to destroy it. Damn. I don't know what it is. I'm going to take a picture of you later. Please do. I will. I don't want to post it online, though. No, I'm going to read it. If... Electric brakes, I think. What is it? Electric brakes. Oh, it's a conversation she had with somebody in Ottawa, Canada. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That. Yeah, I don't want to share that one. I will in, in like That's what all this stuff. 20 years. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. So much. What are we going to do? Is we going to talk to you or something? <laughs> well, at these days. But this stuff's pretty old now. Oh, well, that's an uh, inspection by apartment. That one was? Yeah. That's the inspection? Well, this I is the, so. the passing inspection? Yeah. City of attention Danny. Danny Wilson, the fire marshal at that time. All right, we'll put this one on there. This camera's pretty good. You can actually pause this footage and read it. So there you go. There's the. This is the approval of your structure, right? Couldn't find anything wrong with it, really. Basically, it. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, actually. I like it. That's some pretty good engineering. If they came in there and couldn't. Uh, if any, any problems. <laughs> That's awesome. I found some stuff, yeah. This guy you were showing, you were sh ready? Okay. You were showing this in a uh, in a video online with an interview with some people, and you were describing it. Oh right, yeah, that was well written. Uh, I I wrote an article, but they put together the diagrams. Perfect. These are accurate. Yeah, very accurate. Yeah, I'm going to take some pictures. I took it on the film, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, they're quite helpful. Very cool. <laughs> I guess we'll go eat. I'll come back. Oh, yeah.
Another complaint. <laughs> Another complaint.
Getting there, aren't you? <laughs> There's no way. That's tough, huh? There's no way to go through all of it. What is, um... What is this notebook? Oh, that's an old um, phone book, I think. It's from the 80s time frame. Yeah. What's that guy? Neville Klocken, Henry Kern classified, classified. I don't know what it is. CIA. Do the stuff. Do the work. I wasn't much into that stuff. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> There's so much uh -huh. individual stuff. Yeah. Terrible mess it is. Oh, well. I've had some McDonald's Douglas stuff to do. Yeah, it is. I mean, the video was done. It didn't bother classifying that one. McDonald Doug Douglas? Aerospace Company. Hunting Beach, um, California, actually. And my dog, you and I met down in Hunting Beach went out for a, a dinner, talking about the fun day we used to have. So, what was the project here then? Uh, levitation. Filming a levitation and destruction of metals. This was your shop. That's my place. That's what it was. You can't inside. Yeah, they even ran a piece of foam into the cannon barrel and shot it up. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> Two days. Two days of filming. Where's that one at? Okay, that is U.S. government stuff set up for them. Now you set all this stuff up though. Um, well, Hathaway did actually. Okay. And that's um, yours truly and George Hathaway here. I'm just start looking on as he's probing the area, fuel area, for field effects. That's a cool picture actually. It is. And actually, that, those were slides, which are here. So okay. I've cool. seen some of the slides, but most of them that I just glanced at looked like they were developed. Hmm. I mean, they were like this. Oh, like that? Yeah. Okay. But they have a lot of almost stamped on them or something. Nothing stamped on them. So much. Grab a chair. Kitty? Oh, I'm glad that's a big cat picture. Oh, man. Who's that? Oh, that's outside of the um, Stanley Steamer Hotel. We had a conference. Okay. Energy conference, and they were filming Dumber and Dumber there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, another one of these with the actor on the inside of the whole thing.
There you go. Who's who's this gal? I think they're all the same. Hmm? One of your ladies in there. Really? Yep. And or I. Lots of ladies. I believe so. That's in okay. In my movie, we done is so so contact with both of them. Are, all of them. Are. <laughs> this lady looks really mad. Who's this? Oh, that's some lady that wanted to date me. I didn't like her. She doesn't look very happy. No, me. Nasty. In, Thomas E. Hudson. British solicitator. Uh, Hudson? Yeah. Here, I'll let you hold it. Yeah. So many. Who's that one? Wow. Who's that one? So you have another girlfriend. Yeah, with a horse. Yeah. Yeah, from the interior. So is this girl too. <laughs> She's a way British woman. Uh, <laughs> There's another. That's. <laughs> 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 Check that one out. This is a cut, a cut and paste. I remember that stuff. It's a cut and paste and copy with the. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Judge Seal, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, security. Come on. Just had a girl be police after one. That's a demonstration paper paper from somebody that did a, you did a demonstration for it looks like. Yeah, it is. Um, this is okay, this one is Denver, Colorado. Ah. It's a letter and invitation, I believe. Russell A. Nichols. Mm, Russell. Chief Freedom of Information slash Privacy Office. CIA. Department of the Army. Somebody's trying to get some of my documents. Sounds like it. They were asking for something, yeah. Yeah. Another girlfriend. Yep. Somebody. Yeah, a girlfriend. She's pretty kinky. <laughs> she used to be on TV or something. Vancouver camera. There's another one of those. Who's that one from? It's from, um... Well, this is when you were in Germany. Yeah. There's another one in there. Don't come up, please. Yeah. yeah, those are the cut and paste ones. These are almost like threat letters or something weird. It is. <laughs> I would not you train six stop if I were you. Is that another one that's cut? Yeah, it was in the same envelope. Cut Mr. Edison, you must do as I say, and we have very little time, and you shall have money. Only one person. You go down to the train station, ground S7. 1605 February, and you better have something interest, interesting. Papers, piece of metal. There are many things I should know besides this. <laughs> this one says, I do chance to kill you. Threat letters, man. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it is, yeah. It just shows the proof right there that even then, people still hate. Yep. Uh, it never that, changes. That was Germany, right? I think we got involved in that. I know it. Yeah, that's, it says Germany on there. Your, your address from Germany. Yep. So that was sent to you. Oh, that's a good find. I've never seen that one time. Yeah, there's, I, that must be what that other one was, too. <laughs> Threat letters. Yeah, Interpol. It's sad, really, but you know what? That's even nowadays. 
silly people on the interwebs, man. All right, these are all together. You tell me what these are, and then I'll uh, well, I'll is, go through. I think that is a proposal I get put into the U.S. government. Oh, that's that proposal. So, yeah. Okay. That's the one with the energy device. I said this with uh, all the stuff I'm doing. Field measurements test done by George Hathaway. And science report on it. Giving the energy equivalent. Very important paper. Analysis done. And then we sent that in 1990. Yeah. Okay, okay. John's having fun. Sure you want to wrap it up already? Give us another bit of time. How much time? It's up to you. And no matter what he says, mm -hmm. nothing leaves the blue building. You got it. You have my word. But don't let people Don't let people take, people take stuff. stuff. Smack me around for it. Nothing. <laughs> nothing oh, leaves the blue building. I know. We got it. Uh, much respect. Uh, half hour or whatever. 29, 30, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to remember here. I am, well, I am intrigued. Yes, I'm, I'm intrigued by your memory lane, because I have no idea. This stuff's, you know, who knows? You do. Oh yeah, here's another Japan one. The Principles of Ultra Reality. You'll have to. Principles of Ultra Reality. Thin paper. There you go. You'll have to. I believe this is from. Uh... There's a diagram on that one. That's George Hathaway. I believe it is. You got that one in there. That one, I think I got that one. That's from Georgie. Yeah. So, you and George worked together on these levitation experiments pretty much the whole time? Uh, yeah, I said, well, 1980 to about 86. When the broke away and went with another group. Oh, check it out. There's the, um, that book with the good, the good written, well written uh, stuff. That's the original copy. Oh, is it? Yep. That's there's the letter. Okay. And then that's the original. I guess for, probably for your approval or something. You know, they always send that proof before they. Yeah, that's fun doing that for you. That's the same one. Different from the hand drawing, written, trashy looking. The stuff that. Oh, did he redraw them from your drawings? Yeah, he uh, recalibrated everything. <laughs> it was very nice. 
But that's the right diagram. Mm -hmm. But those are your handwritten notes that you sent to him? Yeah. And then he drew them up? Yeah, he drew them up. Okay. So that's about the best... That's about the best drawing document you're going to find, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's... Yep. Probably. Yeah. These pictures of, uh, of the metal samples that are, uh... Under microscopes? Mm, electron scanning microscope. Who did those? That would be George Hathaway. Okay, so those, that George <clears throat> actually had the electron microscope? He kind of spent most of his life with this thing. Yeah? Because there's a bunch of these in here. Black and white, though. He's very angry that I didn't want to cooperate with them too much. You're angry people. He, he is? Yeah, because it's, it's not, to me, a big issue. I mean, it's just something of, of interest. And yeah. He didn't even want it on the media, but... You weren't out to prove nothing. And you, a scientist, you, know? and you thought it was a riot to put it on TV. That's a good answer. Yeah. That's funny. That's funny to me. Research assistant. Um, oh, who is that? Mm. Oh, he's, this person's awaiting my electrical spacecraft journal with your article. Warren York. Hmm. He's a scientist. Mm, there's a slide in here. Up the bottom one, yeah. it's all letters. Oh, there's no way. I can that. I know. No way. These, I figured this box probably had more interesting things in it. <laughs> start, we'll start there. There's another demonstration. Uh, see it on there or not. I'll let you look at it. Page three, Bill Ross. Hmm, Charles? Demonstration Hutchinson Effect. Oh, that was uh, a statement by Bill Ross of Vancouver to George Hathaway. He observed the Hutchinson Effect type of document. Wrote a letter? Wrote a letter about it, yeah. This stuff here, you said, is that of a German thing? Yeah, this is Germany. Is that, somebody wrote an article? Yeah, they did write articles, a lot of articles. Or was this stuff that you published that someone wrote an article about? This is stuff that, uh... It was like I their know. idea? That's yeah. not your stuff, right? No, no, This is my... No, this is my stuff, but somebody wrote it up. Yes, exactly. Um, let's see. Theoretical physics. Okay. There are quite a lot of papers around them. It's in pieces everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell when it is because it all has this stamped on it. Have these electron microscope pictures ever been published? Um, uh, well, we will not publish anything on the internet. I have yeah. webmasters that published a little bit of pieces of is stuff he, all is the he, time. Is he going to get mad at me? And with the prints, it's too private. I published all the letters with the prints on the internet. I, I saw some on there with the prints. Yeah. What were those about? Uh, funding and problems with funding and getting me back to Toronto and all kinds of weird stuff for a long time. I went to Toronto, sense. worked with Hathaway, I went out and funded. It's uh, not my best stuff. Yeah, well, oh, oh yeah. Freedom. That's the one where you'd be locked out? Okay. So, I, got, I didn't sign a lot of contracts. Did or did not? Did not? Did not, no. Good. That's really interesting because that's exactly, that's exactly my path. Yeah, it's too restrictive to my lifestyle. It is. It takes away from your freedom yeah. of doing whatever you wish when you wish. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. I said no. I signed one, I think one or two, but it wasn't too it wasn't restricted. You had to do signing with Los Alamos. Yeah. You had to do that. Probably I had a, a grandfather clause with all of them. Oh these guys. Um, Some of them are stapled together. I seen it as I was going through here. There's there's those complaint letters. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. You poor thing. You were like constantly blamed blame for everything. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh my goodness, like everything. I know. It was like every other week you probably had mail complaining. I think we could wire it up in the mirror, I think, with this one. That's uh Kern printed that out from his office. <laughs> Oh, that was not that old. That's fine. I had to do that oddly enough twice. She was a girlfriend 10 years ago. Prior to this one. So it's effective. Okay. Fine, Larry. This is an old to-do list of mine. That's pretty scribbled out. I don't know, but it's really a mess. Oh, this is my girlfriend in New York. Oh, yeah, she was an interesting lady as well. She had something been going with the White House. I kept all her emails. Never met her in real life, but this says it's from the Electric Spacecraft Journal. Original pages. Um, what is that something? Yeah, that was the What uh, is that? This is for US Army Intelligence. It was a report written by Tony Trays and scientists in New York New York and this or in Ottawa. And that's the one that's used in the article. Yep. But it's with diagrams. This is the energy equivalent to what I'm doing. Yeah, that's an original one, alright. Yeah, that paper is like a... Uh, <laughs> I forgot what type of paper that is, but... Uh, yeah, fax paper or something, or...? It's that real slick stuff. It's almost like magazine paper, but it's printed. printed. 1983. Wow. A lot of these are uh, newer stuff, aren't they? Yeah, that one is. Huh. This is your handwriting? That's you. That's beautiful, actually. To Mrs. Brunberg. That's a nice, that's a nice, well-written letter. I couldn't write it that much. Nice. Okay, you need to see Mrs. Roddenberry, who's um, the wife of Gene Roddenberry. Huh. Okay. I actually talked to her, too. That's really cool. Who is a Yen Gaysna? Hmm. Those are all written by you. To Yen. Who's 
Who's, mm-hmm. Who is that? Facts to us, my lady, main lady. Okay. The phone was taken away. I just gave her a happy birthday this March for uh, 21. Did you? And she replied back. She's just, I think she's still in. She's either in Salzburg or in Hollywood again. I don't know. Yeah. She was in Hollywood for quite a long time. <laughs> There's no one. Let's look at your draw. You've got UFOs and oh, aliens man. and all sorts of fun stuff. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, famous most. Hey, there you go. Yeah. International something. Uh, I can't even read that word. Vancouver. Star Travelers Universe. Yeah. Who's that? An uh, engineer in Japan, and I drew out this. Is that that oscillator? Oh, that's it! Battery replacer. That's that battery replacer. I'll take a picture of that one. Oh, please do. So I have a closer copy. Yeah. So I must have copied from the original. No, that's... No, that's handwritten. This yeah, is the hand... This is the original. You can see it written. It's written on the back. You see it work through? That is the original. Okay, yep. This is the original. This diagram, though, was drawn on something else. Oh, you copied it over, probably. Or is that uh, the one he drew up? He mentioned maybe he drew up. Where did he get the photo of? Yeah. Oh my, the light. Not every day I get somebody drawing up free energy devices. <laughs> <laughs> no. That gives that credibility, I think. And who was this one from? Oh, that's, I wrote that and sent it to Mr. Ojiwell and he sent that back to me. But uh, the original drawing I got was from Alex Jaroszewski. So, uh, at that time, we were surrounded by um, the Boeing aerospace folks and military scientists. 10,000 turns of number 44 wire, nobium pellet. Oh, it is a nobium pellet. Insulator. Magnet. Magnetic bar. Cobalt. 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 It's cobalt. Magnetic cobalt. I have to go through and read the rest. <laughs> there's a lot on there. Wow. Okay, so there's a it, it, there's a capacitor drawn in there. Is it capacitor? It should be. There's one drawn in there. Yeah. It's not like a cylinder drawn, but it's drawn in the diagram. Right. No beam pellet. And cobalt. Cobalt. Man. There's your ingredients to try. That's the old billet with the military battery placement. Right? We we'll definitely have to play with that. That yeah. sounds fun. It does. That's interesting. That's pretty cool one. <laughs> That's a really cool one. Nobium pellet. Nobium pellet. What is your take on Nobium? What's so special about it? It's so active and electronically friendly for electrons, that is. Okay. Um, yeah, that's. We finally got to it. Got it, yeah. Now, is that the original drawing that you referred to? No, the original drawing is like, like a half sheet. What a half sheet, yeah. It might be in this if we keep going. This is pictures. Do you remember what that might be? Is it big or small? Is it a small oh, bolt or something? Weird. Yeah, that's a blown up piece of steel. Yeah, that thing's really blown up. What are you laughing at? So many papers. I know! And I didn't even, I'm not even going to open that bottom box because it's letters. It would take a year to go through. Yeah, it would take forever. It might be in there a little bit. I think this is more of the more interesting papers. The other <coughs> ones are like letters from people. Yeah. You got a lot of mail in, didn't you? <coughs> Did you write a lot out? Not too much. Not too much? Mm-hmm. More like fan mail and... 
Van Allen, um, old investors, sometimes TV people. Vancouverment uh, experiment observation. I don't want to be McDonald's Douglas. Yeah, McDonald's Douglas? Yeah. Yeah, I know that one quite well. I think. What's that about? It was uh, arranged to Colonel Alexander in Washington, D.C. for another examination of what they were doing. They took a lot of photographs which they didn't classify and video which they didn't classify as they had, and their report. And this is last year I uploaded pieces and parts of that six hour long video on YouTube. It's kind of boring to watch, but. There won't, yeah, you have to really sit through the whole thing to find the hot spots, huh? Uh, it's not a hot spot. I remember them, but. I'm not that savvy in computer tech. It takes a while to sit through those, too. That looks like the original copies of that uh, Chinese pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Appears to be that way. Right. Central Intelligence, John Hudson Center. Oh, finally, the whole book. <laughs> this is the ch the uh, German book. This has all the stuff in it. Holy Macintosh! But explain this, because that's the one that has all the documents. The others must be copies and such. But what what exactly is that? Because that you didn't write that. No, this is theoretical physics. Some pretty exotic whatever this stuff is. Yeah. Um, Very. Atomic analysis. Dilation of space and time. Yeah, that's a pretty heavy one. Colonel Tom Gearden. Okay, he's the natural spoon bender guy. And thank you very much for the letter and sending me the metal sample for my quote art collection. I was very pleased about this kind gesture and will see to find a good place to display this special piece of art. With all my best regards. That had to be a 1997 time frame? This one's in 99, but I saw some that were. This one's 1999, but I did see some that were different kind of. Yeah, wow. That's, uh, yeah, I remember sending that over to Lichtenstein. That's a sir. Fair amount. Did he? Did he pay you back? <laughs> the last thing I got was here. He wrote me a letter with sent me his latest book. Here. Yeah. Wow. He says, "Was happy. I'm doing well, and good luck with the radiation stuff." And <laughs> um, That's awesome. That's his latest book. That's pretty funny looking stuff. All I says. Some of it's in German too, there's sections to it. Okay. Quote from Mike Arsenal and Toronto Pen Collector. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing. Probably just had a staple though. That might be your pamphlet you put together. Yeah, I This is uh, German now, it's a. Uh, article Esquire magazine did on us. BCTV.
that file. Video, audio, photographs, Hutchinson, bootleg. Uh, my crazy webmaster gave me that and I have no idea what's on it now. But... Is it your stuff though? What do you mean by your webmaster? Well, somebody, people are only... Help, help do the website stuff? Yeah. But they take over and they get, get a lot of money too, so... They get up their own ideas and all control for the website. Okay. Uh, it's uh, www.hutchinsoneffect.ca That's the one now, right? Okay. Which one do you have now? I don't have any person. I think you, I think Nancy put together something. Uh, www.liferay.org or something like that. I think it's I think it's Hutchinson Effect or JohnHutchinson.com. She just started putting some of the stuff that's on digital on that website. Okay. I've seen a few of the pictures here on that website, so some of the stuff she's been somebody's been putting on it. Okay. I don't know who. I don't know. I didn't think she was doing that yet. Because all of this now has been digitized. Yeah. Supposedly. Because that's a heck of a lot. And it's about that amount. Oh, I don't even want to start. Like three of those. About the same as the amount in videos. On videos. So and those are all copied over? Oh, yeah. Because I think uh, maybe she'll upload those. I sure hope so. I'd like to get it out there. Because she can, if she puts those on the server, I'll start uploading them. Good. Get them all over the place. A little spray in there. Damn right. That's a lot of stuff I know about. <laughs> Ooh, we'll have to take a peek at those. Probably already done, but... Yeah, those, those have lost elements for now. Oh, these were... Uh, Alexander gave me these after the demonstration. They were really kind of cool. Showed you old lab and... We were all in the same room. To get those, took a lot of persuasion. But Colonel Alexander appeared as being cheap. Two main TV shows, TLC, 2000 time frame, and Beyond Invention around 2006, 2005. <laughs> he wasn't shy of coming on board. He wasn't? No. Couldn't get any of the Canadians to come on board. Oh yeah, we'll have to take a look at this. I'm going to see if I can set the camera up and I'll hold them up to the camera because you can view them. Well, you should try it. Yeah. Uh, well, I did that with one earlier and it seemed to work. Oh, really cool. Yeah, okay. so I want to try it. All right. right. Yeah. i got to hold something white behind it. All right. So it's very dark. We'll try one. One way to get that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, plenty of ways to spin a cat. Find your white photo. Let's see if this works. Alright, this is Los Alamos. And we'll see. Oh, that's beautiful. Check it out. I'll do it. hold it again so you can see it. Let me get it set right. Cool. Where's that? Can you see that? You're too you're too far away. You'll have to look. Oh, that's the uh, part of my setup there. Oh, perfect. That's the high voltage section to the um, left hand side. And that's Los Alamos? Mm, that's my lab in Vancouver, Canada, under control of Los Alamos and US Army Intelligence. All right, we'll go through and you can tell us what that is. Oh, upside down. Probably in reverse too, but hey. Mm. Is that me? Hard to tell you. Um, okay, that's a picture of me taken by the government at a control booth in the lab set up for U.S. Army Intelligence. 1983. Focus. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at all them coils. Yeah, that's um, fuel shaping coils, Tesla coil, I believe, wires, cables. A general picture of the lab setup for U.S. Army Intelligence and Security Command. It's a long word, isn't it? It's impressive you can remember all that. Yeah. 
I'm impressed. I know. I take my vitamins. I take those as well. <laughs> you take your vitamins. <laughs> Uh, that is capacitors, tunable capacitor and spark gap, a part of the uh, same uh, U.S. Army. How big? How big are those balls on that thing? Oh, uh, they're about three inch. That gives you perspective. About three inch, uh, maybe less than that, maybe two, maybe. And where are those at? Uh, that was um, one forty one Riverside Drive, North Vancouver, British Columbia, for U.S. Army. Intelligence and Security Command folks in Los Alamos National Laboratories. Oh man, that one's dark. Ooh, yeah, that's a dark one. I'm gonna have to just hold it up. Mm. You see anything mm. through it? You know what? I think it's a picture in the dark of something. Oh. Well, I can't see it though. I don't think you can either. It's really dark. That's when something they even caught in midair. Something. See if I can get a better shot of it. Oh. All right, what's this guy, John? I see a high voltage. Uh, that would be yeah. That's uh, yours truly. Ah, standing the here, I see yeah. you there. And in front of me is George Hathaway, and we're running the test for the U.S. Army Intelligence and Security Command, folks. Beautiful. Funded by them, and with the help of Ronald Reagan, of course, who was. Last one. Interesting. If Ronald it, Reagan was? Yep, he was. There's some more coils. That's uh, more coils, and we're doing tests here. Just trying to get <laughs> orientated here. Oh, I think we're all backwards, huh? Sideways. It goes this way. Okay, let's try that. Ooh. Hold on, I gotta get this set. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay. Let's like, uh, this is, um, very confusing. It is all weird. <laughs> it's really hard to tell. Okay. Okay, I see coils, fuel coils. Yeah. And... What's that big round one down there on the bottom left? A big round ball? Yeah. Uh, hmm. It's It's this thing right here where my finger's at. Well, any round balls would be high voltage. No, it's a toroidal coil. That I had many of those, and yeah, that's probably a sex. what's the purpose of that? That takes the field energy and pushes out. In a linear. Yeah. I used a lot of that in my setups. These fuel coils. Different uh, thicknesses, sizes of toroidal coils. Okay. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, that was too dark. It appeared to be a picture of something in the. In the dark. Tried to get the videos from the colonel, but he said he couldn't find them. We couldn't find them. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, right. This is battery's about dead. I'll give my sign off with you, John. Okay. Come over here. I'm sure. Thanks for spending some time with me. You're very welcome, sir. John Hutchinson? Yes, sir. I came here to... I don't know what I came here for, but I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So, it's been fun hanging out with you. It was a lot of fun. We did a lot of fun stuff together. And... Hopefully they come back someday and we'll have more fun. I think that'll be in the future. Okay. The man doesn't lie. He's got his paperwork. <laughs> Lots of it. <laughs> it's on paper. I got that on paper. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, yeah. All right. Papers and pictures and videos. Oh, we still got to put all that stuff back. Yeah. Holy cow. I still got a pile of it to go. Yep. Yowzers. Why not? What's not a picture of the phone? Yeah. <laughs> that was the backside of that. That's my old notebook here. <laughs> yeah, we got that one. I got earlier looking at your pictures like that, huh? Yeah, that was alright. Pictures are quite good. Pictures are so nice. Videos are worth more. Pictures are all perfect. <laughs> Jeez. Japanese folks really like taking pictures. Oh, there's another C's. Oh, blank burns. We might have to look at it. That one's uh, <clears throat> Judy Wood. Oh, she's 911. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's another girl from the one I had. Judy Wood was? Mm -hmm. I, I recognize her name, and she I remember she was doing the 911 stuff. Yeah, we uh, had some fun together uh, in Canada in my apartment. Oh, oh John, you're so you naughty. Look at that one. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's my other wife. That's your other wife? Mm hmm, in Wisconsin, Arizona. 
Alina. Wait a minute, your other wife. <laughs> well, we're, we're, it was, the marriage was a no, but she's a... Uh, yeah, you good. Cute. Okay. I still don't have contact with her. I still have friends. I got a little in there. Yeah. That one's got a lot of uh, the... Um, More X-Files. Yeah, X-Files stuff. She's <laughs> so much. Good, I'd like to... Go back to that one? Well, what? I've been listening to this one for a while. Yeah, it's got all kinds of X-Files stuff in it. So I'll have to try and take um, pictures of the pictures and put them on the internet on YouTube and say... Pictures of pictures? What's yeah. those desks? I'll look at them real quick before I leave. You want those? Yeah. Want me, you want me to flip through them? Yep. I'll flip through them. Be an X Files fan, you know. X Files fan. Yeah, I am. John is an X Files fan. A Trekkie fan. I Were you in any of the X Files? Uh, no, but I knew, knew a lot of the folks around it. And that's really cool. That's uh, that might have wound up in my apartment. <laughs> that's really similar to the one you got over there, isn't that's it? That's a bigger one. Huge thing. That one's bigger. Yeah, big monster. I think that one's upside down. So you can see that they... Um, Family photo? <laughs> Who's that? Another girlfriend. Uh, Karen Dobson. Wow. She's an attorney from... Big dog. Washington State. Inside the Navy ship, I took pictures outside the windows. Aha! That's what they had up there on the bridge. And I laughed my head off. Because that shouldn't be on the bridge of a Navy ship. That was... Like, <laughs> not, even part of the, not even part of the ship. They've got it all screwed up. Uh -huh. Where's that at? Uh, that's down, that's near Westminster on the dock. 15 minute walk where I go every so, day. So how many things did you take off that guy? <laughs> Enough to drive people crazy plus the taxi driver. Plus the taxi driver. Uh, that's inside that X Files. Sprayed, painted, down. I can't believe they did that. I mean, I guess it's a show. They do what they want. Yeah. What, uh... Oh. What is... That doesn't describe anything. It's just part of the... I'm gonna put some Russian. No, no, it looks English, but okay. There's not. There's no. Uh, did they have an, a video of where they did another movie on there and like took film? This looks like Garage Doors. What's that? Mm, that's Bay that's Doors of some hall. kind. That's down in the in the hall of the ship. X Files. X Files. This one. Damn. That's not my business. <laughs> But it, it is, yeah. I'm just trying to point out because on a lot of these things, I put a business card on them. Oh, Meaning, okay. I want this. Where they were? <laughs> yeah, where, where I want. I want that. Know. I want that. Those are big motor generator things. What are those? Uh, that's what they are. Actually, motor generator down the part. Wait, of the they've ship. got a motor connected to a generator. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose here? DC. Well, DC direct to current. AC. Yeah. Or vice is, versa. I mean. Yeah, converters. Look at all them guys. Ooh. Oh wow. Did you bring all them home? <laughs> no. Oh, God, I wish I had, you know, this stuff is valuable. I mean, it's... Well, a, yeah, especially nowadays. That's a... I sold that one earlier. Three-inch 50 Canon doorway okay. entrance. Got lots of video of that. I videotaped myself taking them apart. Yeah, I think I'm... Cool. cool. Yeah, put them on there. Thanks. Who is uh, Tommy... Sly? Ah, Tom Skyvis. This is actually a DVD of all the video he took at my lab, and he's the fellow that got sick. Oh. Where this wave went out into New West. He got hit. I didn't feel anything, but everybody else did. I think you've been used to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just another pulse. Yeah. I'll check my computer before I go. Let's check it out. Because tomorrow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gotta head out tomorrow. Okay.